All right, hey you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different today. Instead of checking out Pensacola Beach, we are gonna check out a ton of stuff to do in Pensacola. And Pensacola has charmed me. It's so amazing, it's so cute, and yeah. We're gonna go check out what to do in Pensacola. All right, here is the farmer's market. Every Saturday morning, they have their local farmer's market. So of course, you're gonna find all kinds of goodies. You're walking among these cute little trees and this little path and walkway. It's adorable, it's amazing. So yeah, we're gonna go check out the best. Best of the best. They have a ton of, obviously, vegetables and plants. You can buy little trees, you can buy local art, and lots of treats, lots of, um, lots of fun little stuff. And of course, Why locally made, locally grown. I don't know, in the setting, you really can't beat the setting. Next, we're gonna walk down Halifax. That's another thing that I, I love to do, and yeah, it's hot in the summer, but we're gonna pick the uh, shady side um, and make that happen. Whether you're moving or visiting Pensacola, I honestly think it's worth coming down, checking out Palafox Street, which is their main street. It's called Palafox, and um, they have tons of restaurants. There's, there's some good nightlife. I'll be doing a separate video on the nightlife downtown Pensacola. There's a New Orleans vibe here just with uh, the different balconies and things like that just the uh, old buildings so it's kind of cool there's a unique definitely a unique um, setting so yeah let's go check it out all right guys this is the wine bar this is one of my favorite spots they have this little area here it's, what an amazing setting for a wine bar Under, or between these brick buildings and I don't know I just think it's just super cute they also have a lot of shopping if you're um, into specialty boutique shops um, there's a lot down on Palafox and you can find a parking ramp right behind basically right behind Cactus Cantina on the other side there's a nice a couple stories, three, I don't know how many stories, but plenty of parking spots. So yeah, we're gonna go check this out. Okay, one thing to mention is they have um, gallery night once a month in this downtown area here where they block off several blocks and they celebrate local artists and food and <laughs> music and it's so much fun. So it's the third Friday of every month, and yes, all year round, <laughs> it's so in the hot, um, but it's great. You bring your dogs and kids and everybody has a good time. So, so much fun. World of Beer. It has become quite the place to be. Obviously, it's um, there's a lot of sports, but they have this huge screen, and they do movie Friday nights, which is amazing. I think they do trivia one of the nights in the week, but yeah, 
yeah, it's becoming quite, <laughs> quite the place to go. All right, guys, we're coming up on some um, art galleries. That's an old courthouse right here. a do not miss when you're coming down to Pensacola you should stop at Bubba's sweet spot they have ice cream and candy so yeah definitely check it out we're gonna go check out the little food court the garden at Palafox right across the street here super cute Ruby Slipper, my favorite breakfast spot. Delicious. We're gonna go check out Palafox Pier and the marina. So it's kind of at the end of Palafox, but they do have different festivals at the very end at Plaza de Luna. So we're gonna walk by the um, pier here, marina. Uh, also, this area here was quite damaged with Hurricane Sally, guys. It was really sad. A, a bunch of yachts and boats got um, damaged and, and even, even what they repaired now, the dock is in shambles. Now it's really fun to see things coming back. It's beautiful down here, guys. Um, there's just something about it. <laughs> Being by the waterfront and, um, yeah, enjoying a little stroll down this way. All right, and they do have a fun restaurant, Jocko's. It's kind of like small plates uh, right on the waterfront here. So it's really fun. And of course, just the beauty of walking around here is so much fun. There's the ice cream shop over um, De Luna's and yeah yummy <laughs> there is some parking around this whole area here this little circle but not a ton so you might end up having to park along the street and they like I said they do hold festivals on this side um, people come and fish over here people come over here just to sit on benches they have a ton of benches and seating spots along this whole area and it's just a great view I mean how can you beat how can you beat the waterfront? From downtown Pensacola, you can catch the Gulf Islands National Seashore Pensacola Bay Cruises. And actually, good timing for us. Because they're still here today. These people are going to have fun. This goes to Pensacola Beach and um, schedules throughout the day. Definitely a fun little ride. Check it out, you guys. So much fun. All right, you guys, and um, when you're in Pensacola, I recommend coming to Joe Patty if you love seafood, if you love everything about the sea and things to eat there. They have a little market inside so you can get your French bread and you can get cheeses or uh, various wines and beers. They have a liquor store right next door. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go check out the Joe Patty. All right, so the thing is you go and you get a number and then they call your number and all the people here to help you. There's usually tons of staff, so shouldn't be any problem finding somebody to help you. Someone told me that there's really, really good shrimp salad here. So yeah, definitely check that out. It's found in the cooler. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of good stuff in here. So there's the famous shrimp salad. The 
even have Joe Patty's signature sauces. So be sure to check those out, bring those home. You pack your fresh seafood and ice. So if you have a ways to travel, um, it should be fine. You can bring your own cooler or you can buy some coolers here too. Yeah. Of course, your sauces and seasonings and everything that you possibly need. I, they even have vegetables. They have your potatoes, asparagus, your lemons, all the stuff that you might need for your shrimp oil. Hey! <laughs> So there we go. Interesting fact, in 2004, Hurricane Ivan hit Pensacola Beach. And um, they have a water line here where um, Hurricane Ivan hit. So there's the line. Look how tall that is. That's up to like, that's like up to my neck. So that's crazy that that water actually rose that high in this building. So there we go. All right, guys, and um, they do have a minor league baseball here. The stadium behind me, the Blue Wahoos play here. Our time community park. So they have um, a lot of different things here. They have festivals they hold here. I've come to Veg Fest and Food Truck Fest or something like that. Over here, so they have these large spaces of um, land, and there's a walkway down by the waterfront. So let's go check that out. And we are in the historic district. Uh, there's um, some museums here that they have preserved some of these old buildings. It's really, really fun. Um, this is actually like the historic town. <laughs> They've preserved some of the buildings here. And you can actually do a little tour. Um, they have people dressed up in that age and day. So that's kind of cool. Also, there's a lot of different shops there's a lot of different shops along this way, which is really fun. But um, yeah, it's just really neat. I've done this. Um, they were baking something in that little building there. Um, so that was really fun. And uh, yeah, they have a lot of different old buildings. All right, you guys, and this is one of my favorite places in Pensacola. Oh um, my gosh, it's just a beautiful park. There's these craggly trees. There's a squirrel. <laughs> There's a squirrel. But these craggly trees that kind of remind you of some sort of, you know, storybook or something like that. Anyway, um, it's just lovely. They have festivals here. And um, yeah, it's just really a fun park. So sometimes I'll just bring my chair and come and sit down and enjoy. There's shade and um, it's just really pretty. So. What can I say? It's amazing. <laughs> it's great. So I am by Graffiti Bridge and on the, I guess the north side of the bridge is this love lock wall. And uh, I'm gonna put a little padlock on the wall and lock in my love for life and everyone so and for you guys so this is for you you guys this is kind of a fun thing you can see people come in they paint it um, because it's part of the graffiti wall <laughs> graffiti bridge in fact the graffiti hangs on a little bit here um, there's this little walkway around this pond which is cute but people will um, come here and and express their art isn't that neat so yeah I think it's pretty cool um, 
I love when people, when you can express your art and um, just have fun with it and they allow it here. So it's amazing. Um, so let's, let's go and um, put this on here. All right, guys, I got my locket and I'm gonna put Dancer Quest on it. Dancer. And I'm gonna put a heart on the other side. Not very good. <laughs> Bring in a Sharpie and, um, oh, there's lizards. There's lizards in Florida. Bring in a Sharpie and a little lock and we're gonna put it on our fence. There it is. Locked in forever. Here we go. All right, be sure to check out Graffiti Bridge. Um, it's so much fun. It's, uh, yeah, people expressing their art. You never know what you're gonna find on the bridge. And there you go. So, you guys, that's the end of our tour today of Pensacola. I hope you enjoyed all these fun stuff and um, enjoy your time in Pensacola.